What's going on today, everybody? We're back in the fish room, and on today's video, we got some big moving that we have to do. Some fish, these good idiots, need to come on out because they plucked out all my uh, pearl weed that I put in here. So, like I've already said in previous videos, those guys are gonna go in our 125 planted tank. Now, to do that, we gotta move out our uh, baby monsters. That guy is gonna be real interesting to catch out. That guy shouldn't be too bad, and then our tiger shovel nose that's always hiding. I have no idea where he is. We'll have to find him. But we're gonna have to move those guys into our stock tank. This bad boy right here. So if they eat some of the goldfish, not a big deal, not a big deal. I am going to cover this with a net as well. I have a net that I used to have over top of the pond out there to catch like leaves and stuff. So I wanna put a net over top so our Giardini can't jump out as well. So this is gonna be a, a fun and a wet video. So you might guys might as well smash that like button, subscribe, turn on those bell notifications. So yeah, first things first, we gotta get these monsters out of the tank and into the stock tank. Now, the water temp is identical, so there's gonna be no need to acclimate or anything. They can just be taken from this tank and into that tank. So nothing to worry about there. All we gotta do is catch them out, which is uh, not gonna be super easy. So first, let's just see who we can catch first and uh, go from there. And then we'll toss them in the tank. So you guys enjoy me struggling trying to catch these fish. All right, I think we're gonna try for our uh, red tail first. So I think that uh, Giardini is gonna be real hard to catch. And there's like so much wood in, the, in our way. This is going to be tricky. The tiger shovel nose is right there too. I might be able to get him. There's too many pieces of wood. And I'm not taking this tank apart. All right. Man, he is huge. Look at this bad boy hair. He looks gorgeous. Look at him. He's honking at us. All right, let's go get him in quick. We'll show you how everybody looks once we get them all in, but let's get these guys caught first. That's one down. Now, this tiger shovel nose. He's gonna move like a torpedo, which I'm not really looking forward to. So we're gonna try and go slow with him. I see him here. Oh, he blew by it. Oh, he's getting some nice markings on him too. All right, we might have him here. Like I said, there's too much wood and rocks. They're so quick. When I say they move like a torpedo, they move like a torpedo. Nice. He's getting some nice markings. I don't want to touch him because he's going to end up sticking me. Calm down, buddy, calm down. Look at him. 
Look at that guy there. Beautiful tiger shovel nose. Look at the stripes on him. Really developing. Let's go get him in. Now for the hardest one, I think. This Giardini is going to be nuts. And guess what? I ain't got a clue where he is. So, this ought to be interesting. Well, let me try and find him first. We got him spotted. He's right down there. You can barely see his head right there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him. We're gonna give her, we're gonna give her everything we got. This guy is gonna be hard. This guy's elusive. I've seen him once. He's back in that spot, okay. Yeah, come on out, buddy. Slow and steady. Oh, he juked me. Ooh, I'm telling you, he's got the jukes. Need a bigger net. Oh, I almost had him. I am stirring this tank up, let me tell you. Just let me catch you, buddy. You're going to a bigger home, man, I promise. All right. Whoa, 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 easy, easy. I don't know if I can show you guys him. He's kind of going crazy. Yeah, we're just gonna put him in. We're just gonna get him in, baby. That's the aftermath of trying to catch some monsters out of a 125. Kind of dirty, right? That's all right. But now, let's show you how they're looking in that stock tank once I flip them lights on. All right, here's what we're looking like. They look tiny in here, don't they? Phantom there, Tiger Shovel Nose there, obviously. Giardini coming zipping by right now. Now, I would guess that Giardini is definitely going to pick off some of those uh, goldfish, but that's quite all right. The red-tailed cat might as well. There is a decent amount of structure for them to hide in, which is good. And yeah, you could definitely see the size comparison between the phantom red-tail and the tiger shovel nose. So yeah, that was, wasn't actually terrible. You can see this guy just zooming. Let's see what they look like in a side panel. Goldfish look good. Yeah, buddy. Can't really see them. They're kind of hanging out at the bottom. The Giardini in there, chilling. Man, he looks so good. I promise you they're going to absolutely love it in there. And yes, at the end of all this, I'm going to put that net over top of this so the Giardini can't jump out, even though he hasn't jumped like at all. But he might get spooked in here, so we're just gonna be precautionary. We're definitely putting the net over top of him. But now we got ourselves an empty tank here that needs filled with our goodies. And what do you know? Our lights turned off. So we'll have to turn it back on quick manually and we're gonna get those goodies put into this bad boy here, and hopefully they eat all that hair algae. But look at the amount of guppy grass I have in here. That's all going to the fish swap. But yeah, enough yapping. Let's get these goodies in their new home. And you guys already know, temps are the same. 
So let's just get these guys caught out. Two at once, pretty much professional. I got plenty of practice with those monsters. I got a Bolivian Ram. This might be a two net. Let me get let me get it a little double net. All right, we're dual wielding some nets. Let's see if this is a little easier. Oh my gosh, they are quick. Quick, quick, quick. That girl might be pregnant, jeez. She's huge. Here we go, here we go. Now we're getting after it, now we're getting after it. Man. Oh, we're really, we're really getting after it now. I promise you guys are gonna love the new tank, I promise. Oh, okay, okay, I see you. Don't wanna mess up our arch. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. I get you? No? What the heck? See if we can't bring this light back a little bit. I got you now, girl. You're going to a much bigger home, I promise. You'll love it. Trust. Oh my gosh! Good for him. Even though I think it's a her, good for her. Not good enough. Not good enough. Bloop. Hey, we didn't stir that one up too bad, did we? She's looking pretty clean. We have pearl weed floating all over in there. So yeah, we got that all cleaned up. Even though we got some pearl weed all over the place, that's all right. We'll just replant it. Once everything calms down, we'll probably do it all tomorrow. Not a big deal. But you know what is so silly goofy? When I was moving these goodies in, our uh, tank light turned off. So I gotta reach all the way behind the tank to get that light turned back on. So let me get you turned back on. We'll recap everything we went over. Make sure everybody's doing good. We'll finalize putting that net on. I think we're gonna be looking a-okay. All right, we got our light turned back on. These goodies are loving the new tank. They are flying around this tank. They're gonna be able to pair off, do whatever they gotta do. Like, look at that female. She's huge. There's one female that it literally her stomach, I think it's her, is giant. They're gonna, no, it's this female right here. Look at her belly. That male's chasing her. Oh my gosh, they are going to love this tank. They have so much swimming room. Heck, we might, they might be breeding, I mean, having babies soon. So yeah, much higher water flow, get it, trout, goodied, much higher water flow. They're gonna, I'm telling you, they're gonna absolutely love it. Nice, gave them a nice big home. They're gonna, ooh, it's gonna be great. All right, now let's go check on the monsters. Everybody's hanging out. Still pretty much sitting in the same spots other than Tiger Shovel Nose mood a little bit. But yeah, Jardini's loving it, obviously, because she has so much more room. They're being nice to the axolotls we got in here. Just a nice community tank in here. So yeah, now, let's get that net put on this bad boy, because we don't want to lose our jardine. All right, now it's not pretty, pretty, but it's honest work, man. What are you going to do? That's all the way covered. I don't have any mini clamps to clamp on to the edges to make it, like, tight. We'll probably end up getting those down the road, but that net is perfect and the Jardini is not jumping out. So 
all is well there. So yeah, that's the uh, fish room update slash uh, moving our fish. The good idiots, I'd say, are absolutely loving it. They're already doing their breeding thing. I'm not even kidding. They are getting after each other. Let me tell you what. Now, they're going to get used to it. Look at them. They're just going nuts. I'm telling you, we're going to have babies here in no time, I promise. But yeah. That's gonna be the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, turn on those bell notifications, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.